What's up, little bros? You got Big Bro here. Before I go into this rant, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We got to go into this car repo rant. I'm going to show you a clip from Car Questions Answered. He has a dope channel. He's showing how the car repo industry is starting to grow. Repo, 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 repo. All right, here you go. Charger, Challenger, Camaro, Camaro, all repos. The, the repos that we're seeing now, it might just be the tip of the iceberg. So this is the kind of thing we typically see on a lot of these repos. You see that thing's been kissed. You hear that? Somebody's knocking, they're trying to get out. And more trucks getting repoed. Big work trucks getting repoed. That's not good. That is just the tip of the iceberg. But some of us out here have been trying to warn you since 2021. I just wanted to make a quick video on, we got a lot of posers out here, man. We got a lot of imposters. Everybody's got money. BMW, Range Rover, Mercedes, RV, Bolt, all these motorcycles with, with, with a temp tags on them. Do you think the government's going to keep bailing you out forever? It's not going to happen. They're looking at what you idiots are purchasing. They're, they're looking at, oh, wow. There's new cars at record numbers. There's, you know, homes. Oh, well, we're rebounding nicely. Yeah, let's jack up interest rates on them. When you least expect it, they're going to jack it up. I've been trying to warn people since 2021. I don't feel bad for any of these people. I don't. Now, I'm going to break some things down. The people on my channel, you're trying to change your life. You're trying to change the trajectory of your present and in your future. You're trying to do it on your own, working hard, doing what you have to do, paying off debt, trying to get ahead the old fashioned way. That works. That does create generational wealth. And then you have all these crooks up here on YouTube. All the people, all the people out there, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you're watching this, this is for you. If you're thinking about changing your life, join this channel. We change people's lives on this channel. We don't try to get rich quick. Here's what I need you to do if your car is getting repoed or if you're behind in your bills or if you're behind in anything, your student loans. Call your people who were selling day trading classes, day trading discords, day trading Patreons, phone calls that can help change your life for wealth. Call all those people who had workshops that were charging you, charging you money for bit, um, for uh, crypto advice, NFT advice, metaverse advice, real estate uh, advice, real estate courses, all these online courses, all these classes to help change your life and money that you paid for. Call them and ask them, can they lend you some money? Since you're family, you're all family. They all like to say at the end of their videos, I love you family. I'm looking out for you family. On this channel, we eat together. Well, if you guys eat together, they'll have no problem giving you any money. Hit them up in their DM, their Instagram, uh, their, their social media. Ask them, can they give you some money to help pay your bills? And I can almost guarantee what they're gonna do. Nope. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna ran off on the floor twice. Run away from your emails, your your phone calls, you ain't gonna be able to get them on the phone. Because what's gonna happen is, this is the tip of the iceberg. Some of us have been sitting on cash, stockpiling cash, because you know what we're gonna go do? We're gonna buy those cars, I might even buy a track car. I might even buy a car, make it a track car, throw some turbos in it, some nitrous, some slicks, get back in the track and start making some track videos of a repo car, beat the crap out of it and let people know this was a repo. Yeah, yeah, this was someone's repo. I might even buy more real estate. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna tell you something. People who've been sitting on cash and haven't made any uh, erratic decisions on buying stupid stuff, you're in a good place right now. You're going to have the world at your fingertips. You're going to be able to purchase things for pennies on the dollar because people went out there and blew through more money than they've ever seen in their life. You can't name a time in living history where the government or the Fed or whatever gave you that they gave you stimulus money, extra unemployment money, gave you stimulus on top of you working and people went out there and bought cars. People went out there and tried to justify buying a $100,000 Tesla because they want to save money on gas. People went out there and tried to justify an eight passenger SUV because they have one child because they want to keep their kids safe. People tried to justify purchasing 
million dollar homes because they want their kids in a good neighborhood when they could have bought the cheapest house in that neighborhood and built it along the way and their kids would have still been going to that school system. I don't feel bad for you. I don't. I don't feel bad for you because you need to take accountability. What do we always talk about? Look in the mirror and take accountability. Some of us have been up here trying to tell you, screaming at you, telling you, stop spending your money. If you're getting free money, pay off your debt, cut up the credit cards, be done with it. Pay off your student loans, pay off everything. Who cares if they froze payments? Keep paying it, keep paying it. Get rid of it, get rid of your card debt, trade down, trade down, now's the time to do it. Stack money and then you can go out there and live a better life. Some of us have been trying to tell you. And some of you out there have been YOLOing and living your best life. I hope you enjoyed it because now some of us are gonna come through, we're gonna shake our pants pocket with a couple, you know, a quarters in there and we're gonna go, I'll give you uh, 50 cents for that or, or, or a dollar for that. Or if you spent $80,000 on a Tesla, I may come through and go, yeah, you know what? I, I don't have a Tesla. You know what? I'm, I may buy a, tw uh, I may go to an auction and buy a repo for $20,000 uh, and send that Tesla to Aruba because there's no shipping tax if you import an EV vehicle. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but that's a beautiful thing when you don't know what you're gonna do, but you have different ways you can go on how you're gonna do it. I want every one of you to have that feeling to know that I've always said, God's job is to wake you up and it's your job to do the rest. You have to put in that work. No regrets.